This is Albion's primary communications hub, but there's more security here than there is around the Royal Meth Stash. You should start by destroying their encryptors. If your hacking skills are up to snuff, dominating a combat drone or two could help. Got it. There's no sign of them. Send a description with the report. Oh God, I'm so strong. One down, bring on another. Ha <laughs> ha! 
That's it for the encryptors. You can now upload the virus using the central antenna. Got it. We're off to the races. I'm reading incoming drones. Please, not Themis. No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. I know it's big and intimidating as a Themis go, but you have to stay close to it for the virus upload to work. Sure, sure. Take your bloody time. I'm fine. Uh, security uh. breach. Drone reinforcements on route. Uh. 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 until you get back to the antenna. Don't worry, it's more afraid of you than you are of it. It's almost poetic. Oh, gosh. That's it for Themis, fam. No coming back from this. Yes, the lights are lovely. I'd suggest you leave before someone gets the bright idea to turn yours off. drones driven by some social algorithm to dispense justice has backfired. Do you think he's actually read any of those Greek myths he's named his drones after? What's to stop the next plan and the one after that? Cass is the real problem here. We have to figure out a way to stop him. Nigel Cass has enough soldiers and weaponry to make Churchill wet himself. He has the public on his side and he has us painted as terrorists. I'm afraid us going straight after him won't change any of that. So we take the people's support away, fam? Bags and me have some thoughts on what we gotta do. You lot better come in for a briefing.
Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, and let the city get back to normal, but now, I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected dead sec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. Oh, Cass is good. He spends his entire career killing anyone he sees as the enemy. And then when they strike back, he cries like a little boy. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. Actually, a few of us cooked up a scheme that could help. Bagley. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is gonna blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went after Waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there.